Hey Magic Me on YouTube, Do one Glistener Elf here. There's another standard shakeup event, and that means that we get to play a standard deck with a decently expansive ban list. Uh, I'll include a link in the description to the ban list itself, though it actually it might be out of date by now. Basically, it's the regular standard ban list plus a whole bunch of overplayed cards like Innkeeper or Brazen Borrower, Bone Crusher Giant, the card uh, Questing Piece, cards like that. Just anything that sees let's say ubiquitous play in standard. Uh, but this deck is fine. <laughs> this turn four <coughs> combo deck of mine is fine. So it's a blitz deck. It's going to run Sprite Dragon as a four of, Umara Mystic. So check these out. What they do is that whenever you cast a non-creature spell or a an instant or sorcery or wizard, they get buffed. This one gets buffed temporarily, plus two plus zero oh, till end of turn. This one gets buffed permanently. It's a plus one plus one counter. Uh, in addition, we have three Stormwing entities, which would be four, save I don't have a fourth. Uh, so to make up for that, we have one Riel, the Everwise. You may be noticing a theme here between permanent version of Prowess, Prowess, and the Kiln Fiend effect, but weaker, or I guess we Dragonauts, and the Enigma Drake effect on, on Riel, they all just get bigger as we cast more spells. And lo and behold, we have plenty of ways to do that. So we have four Opt, just for card draw, Crash Through, uh, as a four of Shock and Fire Prophecy for removal, as well as two into the Royal. And then the combo itself is Raking Claws plus Unleash Fury. Now you can stack multiple Unleash Furies, but extra instances of Double Strike won't do anything. However, this one cycles, so if it's dead in hand, we can at least draw into something else instead. Uh, yeah, so only 12 creatures, 22 lands, and here's the, the breakdown for the deck. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there are five wizards indeed. So uh, Mystic will trigger off of Instant Sorceries itself, like other copies of itself, and Riel. Uh, but other than that, yeah, 26 spells that trigger the rest of the deck. And let's try it. Let's give it a go. I imagine that one way or another, this this won't take too terribly long. The the games shouldn't take too long. If we were playing in the non-standard shakeup version of this deck, uh, we would be running. We could run Bone Crusher Giant and Brazen Borrower, and I think I would take Borrower personally over into the Royal Zaman. Nice, because Borrower is a three-power flying creature, and so you can get it to twelve pretty readily. Uh, so yeah, this has two creatures, Fire Prophecy for draw, and Unleash Fury. So let's go. Let's keep it. I didn't go over the land base, but other than missing two of the pa uh, pathways, it pretty much speaks for itself. Uh, another Raking Claw, so let's keep it. Hmm. Okay, and this is just a little old red cap. Ooh, okay. Huh. Nice. Fire. Easy enough. So we can't actually cast the entity just yet. We'll get there, but not just yet. Ah, okay. Mystic only has three toughness as well, so that is going to be a little bit of a problem. Ooh, interesting. I did consider running this as well, but it's small giant, it's baby giant growth, so I didn't. Alright, so next turn we can cast Stormwing Entity off of Fire Prophecy. If Mystic doesn't live here. Hmm. By the way, for anyone doing the math on this, if it doesn't die next turn, uh, we'll say no blocks, because I'm a little bit worried about shock. And another pump spell. If it doesn't die here, uh, Raking Claws will give it double strike, and it'll be a 3-3. Three, three. Unleash Fury, the ability will actually trigger first. So that should be a good game. Pop. So check this out. Trigger, uh, resolves, and then Unleash Fury, trigger resolves, 5, then double to 10, and then it's a 10 power double strike creature. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was a turn four kill in standard. And this deck can do that. <laughs> that was a turn four kill with one of my creatures getting removed. 
Yeah, welcome to maybe your new standard deck. Aside from the lands and Stormwing Entity, it's pretty cheap. Okay, so we got a new card sleeve. Uh, sure. Cool, I guess. I, I'm gonna keep playing this. I don't know. I, as you can see, I haven't switched out my card sleeve. It's, even though I have new ones now, thanks to that and the Mastery Pass, that's just, I don't know. I like them. I like the old card backs. Also, because I play paper a lot, I don't get to play with the old card backs too often, because minor differences in the back of the card, you'll figure out what's on top of your deck. So, I don't know. This is the one place where I get to do so. So we'll keep it. We have two removal spells to hopefully slow them down. So we start off Mountain first. Hello. Hello. There we go. And never mind, we have Sprite Dragon too. Hmm. I don't even know how to pronounce that, unfortunately. Alright, so we're going to run this out as bait. It's going to die, and then the wizard will get a chance to make its way through. See, the fact that we haven't gotten to move through despite my mashing kind of tells you what's about to happen. Although, I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Do we do Mystic here? Or do we kill it? I say we do the Mystic. It's probably going to die. We can make it work, though. And so the pause there is that they have Woe Strider out, which can sack the coat. If it works, great. If not, we can cycle Raking Claws and crash through. Not in that order. Hmm. Hmm. And the escape on that's not particularly great for us. I did uh, think about putting some of the escape cards in here. Uh, Glimpse of Freedom and Sleep of the Dead. But we have Riel, so I didn't. Pl so I ran into the Royal instead for those slots. Maybe that's not correct, but I'm trying it out. No blocks, obviously. Alright, what you got? Anything else? How dead are we? Okay. It's a 5-5. Five five. That's not great. Oh, wait a minute. It, we lack the red mana, otherwise we would have them dead this turn. There's no point in going after the Outrider before we've killed the Woe Strider, unfortunately. The only one that they can't sacrifice Hmm, we could use Fire Prophecy to get rid of an extra card in our hand, but what would we even get rid of? I say we have we have enough time. We can shock here to kill it. Alright, get our buff going on. And if we draw into an untapped red source, then we win on the next turn. If not, we still might make it for a little while. 17, that number unfortunately doesn't change too much. Alright, so we take 5. You're going to have to get a little bit lucky here. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh, now, now wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's not go off just yet. Maybe this is wrong of me, but let's not go off just yet. We can hold up for just a moment. Okay, so found another Mystic. This will let us play around removal a little bit. And yes, that triggers off itself. If they, if they decide to kill it here, we're actually kind of okay with that. It should clear the coast up a little bit for future turns. At least that's the hope, that's the game plan. Alright, so next turn, if we put Raking Claws on one of them, Unleash Fury on the other, it still won't quite be lethal. It'll be close, and it'll be lethal if we could find somehow... No, no, it won't. It won't. We, we lack the third red manite, so even if we drew a shock off the top, that wouldn't do it. 
All right, so outrider attacks puts us to seven. Can't block, but it flies. Dirge bat. Okay, so I'm glad we held on to that prophecy. So wait a minute, are they are they dead here? All right, let's see. Blow that up. Um, they're they're dead no matter what here. So we'll we'll just cycle that because we can. And there we go. Hi y'all. Bang. 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 Good game. Got there. Got there. <laughs> it's like tapping out against Infect. I'm playing standard Infect, folks. I I basically am. Except for Riel, all my creatures have flying. So uh, yeah, it's built-in evasion. Let's try that again, I suppose. It's a very quick video. <laughs> or at least that's the hope. That's the game plan. Bones. Hi, Bones. Hmm. Well, we need a third land, but otherwise it looks okay. 22 lands, but we have four opt for crash throw, so I think it's alright. When our curve tops at three. I think giant killer. Okay. Hmm. We're actually going to play crash throw here. All right, there we go. There's our third land. So on turn three, we can go shock storming entity, and we're okay. <laughs> if we really feel like it, we can hold up double shock. I think that's a little overkill, though. But we could give them a, a wrong impression as to what we're playing. And we might actually want to go shock on one of the creatures here. Ah, Heliod. Sure. Sure, bud. Sure, we'll blow it up, just to save ourselves one point. Okay. Uh, in that case, let's play the Mystic first. I'm going to save Stormwing Entity for when we have a target, or at least that's the hope. And that's, that is a target. Oh boy. Hmm, so what's your deal? Reveal a card you own named Leech. Aha, okay, cool. Cool. They didn't have another, it seems. Alright, get a trample. Alright, make him do it. Do it, you know you want to, okay. They didn't. They did not. It's not worth it just going for 10 points here. Alright. And we'll play the Swiftwater Cliffs. Um... That's not bad. I could... I would like to dig for some more actual damage, though. Over the Raking Claws. But I'm worried about getting another land. Eh, it's fine. We can make it work. Alright, go back to 20. Swift Water Cliffs and Standard. Yeah. Budget deck. Also, there aren't that many options. I have the Fable Passage. Those could go in instead. But since we don't really do much on turn 1, I figured it's okay. Huh. Okay. Wasn't this 4 mana? It was. Okay. Hmm. Are they? They're dead. Oh, well, no, they could have a flash answer of some sort. That's possible. They could have flash shenanigans. Alright. Let's find out. Alright, what you got? A uh, giant killer. Giant killer's second half is kind of a thing. Alright. Let's see what they have going on here. Do they have me? Let's find out. Alright, what you got? 
Let's go to damage first. Alright, then do the rest. Thanks. Alright, what you got? Good game. A little unnecessary <laughs> doing that, but just to be on the safe side. Although, if they had a flash gain life answer for three mana, I, I guess they'd have me on that, wouldn't they? Alright, also I guess I have a mastery orb or two to spend, don't I? Let's keep going a little bit further through, but... Extreme. Extreme-y. Alright. Oh, we get to see you first. Or, finally. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, hello? Uh, no. Let's find another land. That's the more important bit right now. Okay. What's your deal? Is this... Hmm. Becomes blocked, you say. Yeah. Let's do Fire Prophecy first. May regret this, but... No, that's not right. We could go all in on one creature, the creature that can't buff itself. Yeah, I'm going to try. Okay, and we got another creature that can. Ta-da! Alright, we'll see if that paid off. Nest Robber. Oh, it's a 2-1 haste, right? Cool. We still didn't find another one, though. Alright, if I play this Sprite Dragon, it's just dead. It's going to die to removal here. Yep. Oh no! Okay. Huh. Well, this is unique. I mean, don't get me wrong, we'll take it. I suppose. Alright, so fire. And then Stormwing Entity. Ah, uh, now we find more lands. Okay, um... Let's do this. That may not be right, though. I like that we're actually getting to see underplayed, underappreciated cards here. Yeah, okay, okay. If they get the other one, though, we're in trouble. And we're not. Okay. Let's see. What do we get? Uh huh. That's what I get for not playing the or for playing the land too early. So it is. So we can get it to shock put them to fifteen, unleash fury, we can hit them for twelve, so we can get them down to three life. I think that's probably not the play, though. Yeah, I, I misplayed by playing that land too soon. I don't know why I did. That was real five-head of me. Enters the battlefield. Oh, so it's just make all the goblins the deck. I mean, it works. What do we have? We have a Sprite Dragon. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. So, uh, once again, we can shock them, put them to 11, unleash Fury, prowl it, and we can get them to 1. Can't quite finish them this turn. Ah, okay, though. That works. That's nice. That's really nice. Alright, off to blockers. Uh, we don't actually need the shock to their face this turn. Because either one of these will be lethal next turn. Thanks to Unleash Fury on both of them. Aha, there we go. And with one mana left, it doesn't actually matter. They can shock this Sprite Dragon and we're okay. We're fine. We're fine. 
Even if they have it, we're good. Wait, wait, what's your shtick? You sack to destroy an artifact? Yeah, okay. Ow, 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 ow. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And put it on you. Alright, make them shock. Doesn't matter now. We are good to go. Whee! Alright. So, yeah, lethal through either one. And now we just mash. Yay, we're 4 0 with this stupid thing. Now, granted, this is in the standard shakeup. Ooh, wait a minute. Plus one, plus one gains first strike. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was about to say. Uh, this is standard shakeup. This is an actual standard. So just because the deck's performing better now doesn't mean that if you take it to, like, uh, I was about to say a Grand Prix, but those don't exist anymore. Uh, just take it to a competitive event. It won't necessarily perform this well. But you'll also have extra tools if you do that, like Raisin Barber and Bone Crusher Giants. So I guess it ends up working out. <laughs> maybe, maybe, we are 20 minutes in, and we're 4-0, aren't we? I think that was 4. Woo! He says as he invariably jinxed it. This is why I ran a different version of this Blitzstack, uh, a historic version for the last speedrun I did. Alex Gordon Blue. It's because this deck is fast. Now we come to the problem of not having a creature. Now it gets serious. Okay, never mind. We're good. We have a creature. Just find a land. Never mind, we have a land. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're just... we're gold. We're golden. It's... I was about to say possible that Mystic could die, but this is a forest, so... maybe not? Maybe. Maybe not. Hopefully not. Now that I think about it, I have my playset of Brazen Borrower, but I only have one Bone Crusher Giant. I have a playset of the Mythic, but I only have one Bone Crusher. Though I think we got Brazen Borrower some number from the, uh, what would you call it, the renewal deck, the starter deck that you get. Um, so that would be some of them. And then maybe I got a copy or two from opening packs. I don't remember for sure if I ever actually spent a wild card on a Brazen Barber. Ah! Okay, that would be a problem if we can't kill this thing. Actually, no, we have Into the Royal, so it's fine. No matter what, it's fine. It does have Reach and Protection from Multicolored, though, so theoretically that could be a problem. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, I see what's going on here. In case it happened not to be clear from the 2 2. Um. Probably not a good idea to pop it here. We'll wait for the Mystic to do its thing. Ooh. Wait a minute, there's Storming Entity. Um. Yeah, let's still do the Mystic first. Because using Crash Through just to get a mist, uh, an entity out is probably not ideal. Probably not what we're looking for. Also, these, this mana base looks sketchy. But they, they, don't have, they shouldn't have any more mana troubles now, though. Shouldn't have. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, yes. No, that works out. Wait, wait. What about you? Becomes the target of a s- ah, great. I swear, are you about to fight this- okay. Wait a minute. Um, okay. Oh yeah, 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 protection from multicolored, that's right. That's right, that'll do it. Okay, how much can I pull off here?
Yeah, sadly we didn't have a fourth land. That would have been nice. We can try to go for another one here. I say we just do Stormwing Entity. Well, there's another land, but it comes in tapped. Alright, bought them both. Here we are. We're about to take a ton of damage here. Not as much if they leave the Stone Coil Serpent back, but Fire Prophecy should, should invalidate that. That said, it'll put a counter on the Ravager. That sounds like something we used to say a lot in Modern. Different Ravager, but still. Yeah, slightly different. Yeah, even if I kill it, they just make another 3-3, so that's not ideal. That's where Into the Royal comes in. Aha! Okay. Only with you, right? That's what we want to see. Only you. Okay. Yeah, no blocks. Alright. What you got? Great hint. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hmm. Well, just simply bouncing it's a bit of a problem now, isn't it? So they'll cast it back and it'll get bigger. But it doesn't have reach, so I guess that's okay. Could we please? Alright. So, how about Fire Prophecy, see if we can find another land. Please, for the love of God, find another land. Then we can use Into the Royal. Alright, so they're going to make a 1-1. One, one. And then this gets to be a 5-5. Five, five. If we need to, we'll block with the Entity. Hmm. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it with fire. There we go. Uh, Mystic. Ah! Okay. Let's just try to draw another card here. That would be nice. Come on. You know you want to. The The weight here is Shambler and Hinge, the combo with those two. Mmm! Rawr. We're not getting there this game. At least it doesn't look like it. You know, I can't attack out. If I attack with just one... Let's see... If they have another Stone Coil Serpent, we get punished for attacking with you. Not really, though. Um, just you block the 5-5 five five here. It dies, because they'll put the counter on it. Yeah, uh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. And that, kids, is why Swiftwater Cliffs... <laughs> probably doesn't go in, right? While it makes both of your colors, it always comes in tapped. Alright, there we go. Hmm. So, another Luminarch. Great. Well, okay, if we find the land, we've got him, but if we don't, we're in, we're in big trouble. So it can put two counters on this one, and then that seven that gets through. And we just have to hope that we have them. The Ozolith, because they... Alright, well, thankfully no more cards in hand. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. They could put all three counters on the same Luminarch, and then they can get through for eight. It does have to actually tap, thank goodness. Whoa! 
Can they get this thing trampled? Not that I can see. Uh... I may be missing something. Okay, that's more like it. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe they have... Nope. Okay, land, 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 land. Just, just an untapped land. Boop. Or well, they have no cards in hand. Nothing has reach. Or flying. And there we go. Alright. Got him. And now we just mash. Okay, I don't know if we necessarily got lucky, but we didn't get unlucky there, I suppose. Wait a minute, what's happening here? Stop, stop looking over your cards. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Good game. Okay, what is happening? They can gain life. Oh, that's what was, that's what was going on. They could gain life. Okay, that's all. That's all. We're fine. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. That took ten minutes for one game, but we still haven't lost yet. Meow. <laughs> By the way, my quest today was uh, just to cast. I think it was twenty blue or red spells. So conveniently, that's what we're on. You know, as you do. As you do. <laughs> this is so silly and I love it. Ye man. Ye man o. Zero, 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 zero. Uh, sure. This is cool. Save the temple for a little bit later. I want to cash in my, my wild card uh, when I have more information about what I'll have drawn since then. Case in point, I just drew a shock. Um, probably not the greatest card in, in the spot. Alright. Hold up shock just in case. We can always go opt into entity if we, if we need to. Freebooter. Okay. So, you choose a non blah 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 until it leaves the battlefield. So if I shock it here, I just get to... They take a card and I get it right back, don't I? I think that that's how this works. I'm pretty sure... Because I remember there was a difference in the way that it's worded from the... Uh, not Banisher Priest, the predecessor to it. Fiend Hunter, I think it's called. Yeah, so there we go. They got to see my hand, basically, is what happened there. Um, that's... Sure. They just showed me a... creature we want to get off the battlefield, after all. There's Entity. Oh, okay. Hmm. Actually, we're decently likely to come across more lands anyway. So, we'll drop those so we can find more gas. It says the guy who needed lands quite a bit last game. I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to get a few more turns, though. They're probably not playing some turn 4 deck like we are. If I had an Unleashed Fury in hand, then it would have been right to keep there. Ooh, okay. Uh-huh. Well then. I don't know that I want to ride off just the Mystic. I mean, off just the Entity. Sure. If it, if it dies, I want to have a backup. We're just firing right away. Try to maximize our damage for next turn. Where we have at least 7 plus double strike on the table. Ooh, hi. Hello. I mean, I guess we could bounce it. It's usually something you want to do later on, but I'd like to maximize my damage here. So before we cast Crash Through, let's look at what we're working with. Another Crash Through. 
Okay, cool. We can have our cake and eat it too, can't we? So if I go crash through raking claws, then we have five plus five. Okay, so we're not quite there. Almost, but not quite. Get another one. Ah, uh, just bounce it now. Instead of drawing the card. We do what we must because we can. Also, I'm worried about Ember Cleave. When I shouldn't be. And I know it. So now, with uh, Crash Through Raking Claws, either of my creatures will be lethal here. So they'd have to kill both which I have a sneaking suspicion they're not running Extinction Event. Probably not, by the way, yes, they, they would both be applicable. Got me, or got the, got you. <laughs> got there. Yeah, just from what they knew, they were dead. That's unfortunate. But we're still undefeated. We're still undefeated, folks. 6-0. I'm going to keep tempting fate, or I'll, I'll keep going until just about the hour mark over here, I suppose. So that it doesn't bleed into the winds for the next day. Ah, okay. Riskiest one yet. No creature. And only one way... Well, we have Raking Claws for cycling. At least there's that. But we have Raking Claws and Leash Fury, so we can find a creature in two more lands then we are good to go. We will be good to go. Let me just make myself need to clean my screen. That's what's going on here. Hey. Give him the hello. Oh, hi. I know what this is. Already, I can tell what this is. Oh, never. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, shock it first. Shock you first. Now you're good. Add a counter. Cool. And then. Uh, let's try to find an actual land. There's not a land. There's not a land. To get rid of another raking claws. Well, I think we have enough. Jeez. Well, this can happen, folks. This can indeed. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. Can't cast the second one this turn anyway. Hey. We could cycle a raking claws instead of playing crash through here. Let's be efficient, I suppose. Hmm. Well, thankfully no way to gain life just yet. Yet. I'm waiting for it. Oh, hi. And then add it to your hand. You get another one. And this is about to get out of hand really quickly. Yeah, I don't feel so good about this game, unfortunately. And they have Selfless Savior for backup. Which doesn't matter, because they can just start casting them turn after turn now. This is a really, really good best of one card, isn't it? It's kind of obnoxious. Mm-hmm. Pass it right along. I can't even block it with Raking Claws because they could use Selfless Savior. We can, however, pop Unleashed Fury once just to give it a counter.
and to kill maybe a hallowed priest. Why is there a delay? I know that selfless savior's ability is a thing, but please? Hurry? Maybe? Maybe? Yeah, yeah this might be the last one, because we're going to run up against the hour mark on my end. Because when it hits uh, 4 o'clock a.m. over here, it'll roll into the next day, and the winds will start counting for the next day. Uh, at least if it keeps going like that. Uh, sure. Wait a minute. No blocks. It would be efficient. I could get another counter here if I blocked. And then we could go crash through. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll do it here. Choose a target, because if we find an untapped red source, we can kill them next turn. No, we can't. They have a 4-3 blocker. Alright, so sack it. Or not. That's okay. They made the smart play. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe we want to wait, then. Yeah, we'll wait. Ooh! Each gain that much life. Crap. Crap. Well, that's not good. That's really not good. Oh, boy. Okay, um... We can't even kill one of them without Selfless Savior ruining our day, so there's not much of a point. I guess we'll just take it. They'll go to 28. Ow, ow. And then we both gain life. Alright. At least that's not a win con. For whatever little that may be worth. Alright, so let's draw a card. Ooh, right on time. I'm gonna intentionally wait here, I think. Alright, popping it into the Angel of Destiny, as expected. Okay, now it's big enough, thankfully. Now this has double strike. Crap. But, it has double strike and it's only a two power creature. We're gonna decline. Alright. So if they gain eight more, then they, they win. And the way that this is worded, deals combat damage to a player. So it has to actually connect. Hmm. They could go down 5, up 8 here. But they have another angel in hand. Legion angel in hand. <sighs> oh, boy. Yeah, we're losing this one. Why did I even attack there? It has indestructible. Yeah. I had trample, but not enough power to get over its toughness. So, GG. Oops. GG. Big oops. Big oops. I, I goofed. We were losing that game anyway, but, you know. But, yeah. Yeah. Still shouldn't have done that. Oh, whale. Oh, whale. Because uh, since they had the second one, they could attack with both. If I block the one I'm big enough to kill, the 4-3, then 2 power, 2 power, that would add to their life total 2 plus 2, except there's another angel, so it would be 2 times 2 plus 2 times 2. Yeah, it wasn't looking great. Oh well. Mastery pass, or mastery shenanigans. I think we still only have one, but we're very close to the second, if I'm wrong. Yep, we're... 
Yeah, we're really close. Almost at it. But we don't have enough time for another one, I think. It's like two minutes till. All right. Well, yeah, I guess we'll I guess we'll save this for later then. Save it for next time so we can just pop all the orbs at once. Note that we're not too terribly far away. We've only three more to go. So we're pretty close. All right. So that's going to do it for this one. And thanks for sticking around. What was that record? Like 5-1? It was 6-1. Wait a minute. How many wins did I have? Six, and I lost the last. So it, it did six in a row for a silly little <laughs> deck like that. Uh, someone in, I, I mentioned in my Discord that I had made Infect, and someone's like, oh, wait, how do you make Infect in Historic? Well, that's how, um, except that one is Historic and has green as well. You know what, maybe I should make a video on that one. It may be coming, just maybe. Alright, that's it. Take care, Magic Community, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>